So this is the last video and we're going to look at myoglobin first um, and then we're going to look at um, a scenario where uh, we link surface area to volume ratio of organisms to um, the, the position of their oxygen dissociation curves. So uh, myoglobin then, uh, this is um, a protein that's found in muscles and it has a very very high affinity for oxygen so high that it actually stores oxygen within muscle tissue all right so the binding of oxygen to myoglobin is incredibly strong because of the high affinity and that then makes myoglobin a storage uh, protein and it stores oxygen within muscles now in terms of its uh, oxygen dissociation curve, so if we look at the graph on the left, uh, we've got the adult haemoglobin line for comparison. Okay, now the myoglobin curve is almost vertical. So that tells you it's got a very, very high affinity for oxygen. And in fact, it becomes fully saturated at about uh, eight kilopascals of oxygen okay so um, why does it have this high affinity why is it there to store oxygen well it's there to supply oxygen to the muscles when they're undergoing extreme physical activity so something like riding a bike running uh, a long distance sprinting when your muscles are very active the circulatory system uh, cannot deliver enough oxygen to the muscles okay so they could eventually start to respire anaerobically and uh, when that happens you get um, lactic acid accumulating okay that's a product of anaerobic respiration in humans you would have also have got a lot of carbon dioxide made when respir aerobic respiration was occurring. So you, you ultimately get a lot of CO2, a lot of lactic acid accumulating in the muscles. And it's those two things that actually lower myoglobin's affinity for oxygen. And when that happens, you get oxygen dissociation occurring and it uh, it then supplies oxygen to the muscles um, to to allow them to carry out a bit more uh, aerobic uh, respiration so you you won't use the oxygen on the myoglobin under normal uh, low activity levels it's only when you're uh, exercising extremely that um, myoglobin's affinity will lower so that's why myoglobin uh, is present in uh, muscle uh, tissues. Okay, uh, lastly then, this graph on the right is looking at um, animals with different uh, surface area to volume ratios. So in this graph I've chosen um, a mouse, I think it is, and an elephant. Now again, you may not get these animals in, a, in an exam question, but you need to just apply the principle that I'm going to go through now. So um, the mouse has an oxygen dissociation curve to the right of the elephant. Now from previous videos, I've said whenever a curve is to the left, sorry, to the right, the haemoglobin has a low affinity for oxygen. When the curve moves to the left, the haemoglobin has a slightly higher affinity uh, for oxygen. So the situation is this, that these two animals generally have the, the, the same access to oxygen, to 21% oxygen in the atmosphere. Um, they, they don't live in low level uh, of oxygen. So why do they have haemoglobin with different affinities if they're in the same environment where there's the same level of oxygen? Well, it's to do with the surface area to volume ratio of the organism. 
So if you look at the mouse, because it is very small, it has a high surface area to volume ratio. The elephant, because it's really big, it has a low surface area to volume ratio. Now we talked about surface area to volume ratios in the gas exchange topic. All right, so that's where everything was explained. So I'll assume that you understand uh, surface area to volume ratio. So why does the mouse with a high surface area to volume ratio have a hemoglobin with a lower affinity? Well, with the mouse, because of its large surface area to volume ratio, it loses a lot of heat. So a lot of heat will be radiating out from uh, its body surface. And that heat has to be replaced. And the only way that it can be replaced is for the mouse to do more aerobic respiration. All right, so because this mouse has a very high rate of respiration, it needs to have oxygen delivered more readily to its cells. So you need a haemoglobin with a slightly lower affinity for oxygen so it can dissociate more readily and provide the oxygen needed for the high respiration rate in the, uh, in the mouse. So that's why it has a lower affinity uh, haemoglobin. With the elephant, because it doesn't lose as much heat from its body surface, it doesn't have to do as much aerobic respiration to generate and to generate heat to replace the heat that's lost. All right, so that doesn't have to have um, a lower affinity uh, haemoglobin. Okay, so that's the key idea when you're asked about animals of different sizes. Okay. Uh, it's to do with surface area to volume ratio generally and the fact that a smaller animal will lose more heat than a larger one. Okay, and uh, that's why you get a different position of the oxygen dissociation uh, curves. Okay, so uh, that's the end of this uh, video and it's the last video um, for gas transport.